Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be talking about breaking my pinky. So, this is how it started. Um, I was just in my room playing my PS2. And there were these new neighbors. I didn't like them. They were weird. They, they would always come up to my window and just pound on it. And one day, they came up to my window and started pounding on it. And... I opened my blinds and they said, do you want to come to my house? I was like, yeah, sure, I'm not doing anything. So I go over there and this is in third grade? Yeah, third grade. And I go over there and his little brother, he's like eight or something. I don't know. But his little brother is playing on one of those Power Wheels things. Like it was a John Deere tractor and he was playing on it. And I started hurdling it because I thought I was really cool doing that, like, you know, athlete of the year. And so I started hurdling it, and he <laughs> he moved the tractor a little bit, and he just runs into my leg, and I flip over, and I land straight on my hand, and I broke my <laughs> I broke my. Pinky, I didn't know anything happened at the moment because I couldn't even feel it, but like I knew something was wrong, so uh, I got on my little razor scooter and I went home. And wh where I messed up, um, I tried to grab the handlebars and I tried to move my pinky, and I don't know how. I guess it was all just adrenaline, but I actually like moved it down, and that's what made it hurt so much. That's what. <laughs> That's probably what made it so bad. Like, it was a bad break. And so I go home, and my dad, he does not like broken bones, broken anything. He's, he gets freaked out by that. So I go home, and, um, my, I remember this. My mom was making dinner, and my dad was watching drag racing. So I go home, and I, I was crying because I moved it like an idiot and I was crying and my mom was like what's wrong I was like my pinky my pinky and she was like oh what's wrong with it I was like I don't know it hurts and my dad comes into the room the pinky's like bent it's it's done it's <laughs> it's messed up and my dad comes into the room he immediately <laughs> runs out just like screaming he's like oh my god cuz you know he I showed him a video of a guy like accidentally cutting himself with a fidget spinner I don't know why I showed him that he almost threw up it was <laughs> that's another story but we we go to the hospital and my mom she makes like this cast of popsicle sticks <laughs> and we go to the hospital and um, we had to wait like two hours just to get into the office like the operation not the operation room just like I don't know the like yeah the office we had to wait like two hours just skin there and it was like 11 o'clock and like in the night 11 o'clock at night so like I was just I was the only one in there except for one little kid who was playing with his Thomas tank engine toys and I started playing with him this kid was like three. His parents th probably thought I was like some pedophile or something. So I started playing with him and my mom doesn't want me doing anything to hurt it more. So she made me stop. And then my name finally gets called after like two hours of waiting. And I go into the office. She does an x-ray and finds out that, you know, it's broken. It's broken. And I was like, this sucks, because it was my right hand. My, you're my go-to. Yeah, it was my right hand, so I knew that I wouldn't be able to write with my right hand um, for school. So, yeah, that sucked. I was sad and mad about that. But, um, they had to numb it for some reason, because they thought it was, like, out of socket. But it wasn't, and they put a shot directly into my pinky, 
and just start just start you know wiggling around for no reason at all even though it's not dislocated they thought it was only dislocated but nope it's not and they started wiggling around which hurt more than actually breaking it and you know that was before they took the x-ray so they didn't know it was broken they sh they probably should have took the x-ray before but that's not that's not my business <laughs> so we finally get out it's like one in the morning and um yeah I just go home they gave me a cast and I had like I had like a gas mask I don't know why but I go to school the next day I got so much attention I loved it alright so that's, that's it for the story leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new peace